What's up Star Wars fans? Thanks so much for clicking on the video. My name is Jonathan and today's May the 4th so I thought what better day to show you all of my 3D printed Star Wars stuff. Alright we're starting out in the garage because my 3D printer is currently running in the other room so everything past here is gonna be voiceover but we do have one thing out here that is really cool that I'm still working on. So that's gonna be the first thing I'm gonna show y'all. This is my full scale 3PO helmet. As you can see, I've probably got about one round of sanding done. I haven't done that much work on this, even though I've had it for a pretty long time. Honestly, the reason I haven't done more work on it is because I've been pretty intimidated because the gold on it requires uh, an airbrush gold. But I finally have an airbrush uh, kit set thing. So hopefully I can put more time and effort into that. As you can see, it comes apart. Two pieces, full scale. If you didn't have a head as big as mine, you could definitely fit in this thing. That's actually what it's made to do. It's made to be worn. But yeah, that's the first item. Uh, and hopefully I could get a video out on that in the not so distant future. But yeah, uh, with that said, if that kind of thing interests you, Please be sure to hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell. I try to get a couple videos out a month, but these projects take time, but I think I do a pretty good job. So please hit the subscribe button, helps me out, and uh, I'd really appreciate it. So on to the next item. All right, so quite literally the first thing that I ever printed on my Creality 3D printer, other than the little benchy that comes with the printer, is this Beskar Ingot or Ignit, I've never really known which one it actually is, but this was the first thing I ever printed and this is the first thing I also ever really dove in and tried to paint and quite honestly you can kind of tell. The second one I printed sometime later, but you could tell by the layer lines and just some other things about it that I still wasn't quite sure. Well, I shouldn't say quite sure, but I wasn't as knowledgeable as I am now, I guess. But looking at these two now, I really realized that resin printing with some silver rub and buff would just look killer on these. This Boba Fett Mythosaur skull was kind of my way of printing something a little more complicated and at the time I thought a little bit cooler but as you can tell it's still just plain white. I haven't painted it because I still haven't really looked into complicated painting and I know this one might not seem complicated but just in the sense of your base coats and your washes and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'd almost forgot about this little awful Mandalorian helmet. I think this was like a free file off a of Thingiverse that I downloaded and I'd never tried a helmet before so I wanted to try it very small. But now we're going into my closet because we're going to do something a little bit bigger and better. This is actually a paid helmet. I believe it's Great Ape, I believe, on Etsy. And this is about as accurate as you can get to the actual helmet on the show. And enjoy this little mirror selfie thing of me. And while we're on the tune of Mandalorian helmets, this is actually the same helmet that you saw a little earlier, just 50% scale rather than 25% scale or whatever the other Mandalorian was. But this one is themed to my favorite college sports team, LSU. This is a grab charge for Mandalorian. Uh, this is something else I'd really like to go back and print in resin, especially the little red button at the top. It's supposed to be more of a clear. Now quickly before we move on to the Mandalorian Viral Blade, I just wanted to point out this little Naboo Starfighter. This is actually Mando's ship from Boba Fett, uh, the Book of Boba Fett. But this Mandalorian Viral Blade is actually, it may have been the second or third thing I printed. And for some reason, I just never finished it. 
And then after the episode from the Book of Boba Fett, when he put all of his weapons in the little case before getting on the uh, ship, I was like, hey, I need to go back and finish that. So now we're moving to another weapon, but instead of a knife, a gun, and this is Boba Fett's little side pistol. A lot of the stuff, I do have videos on my YouTube channel, so I'm going to go ahead and link all of those in the description. So if there's anything in particular you would like to check out, it's probably down there. And last but definitely not least, the most recent project is this full scale wearable Boba Fett helmet that I also have a video on. So definitely go check that out if you think this is cool. And just to kind of wrap up this video, I'll go ahead and throw a couple clips from that video onto the end of this one. Well, I'll just say if you enjoyed this video, like I said at the beginning, please be sure to hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. And don't, leave, don't forget to leave a like on the video as well. But I got a lot more stuff coming up. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, go uh, just make sure you don't miss the next one, I guess. So for the third, fourth, and hopefully final time, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, and uh, thanks for watching.